dat hij mensen ziet. Ja. Nu zien ze dit. Nu zien ze dit. Maar zeg je dat thuis nog wat wil afzien? Nee, ik kan je telefoon niet aanzetten. Oh. Waar is mijn chatscherm? Op de stopscherm. Dat is niet zo. Dat was goed, ik denk dat de auto het doet. Ja, we zijn live. Ah, kijk. Ja. Je moet gewoon geduld hebben van anders. Even geduld, ja. So, I think we're live. We're live. I Hello think so. Wait, 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 wait. Um, now we're there as well. Hey, hey. I wanted to do an introduction. Oh, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. So I'll turn it off. Oh. Always good. Ladies oh. and gentlemen, welcome to this month's live webinar. And today we have a special guest. You did not see anything yet. <laughs> because besides Kuhn, we have a third person joining us behind the screens. And that is... Rani! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> what a surprise! What a surprise! <laughs> Rani does not have a mic, so if no. she wants to talk, she has to. Hakun. Hey, but <laughs> hey, but maybe I can hand over my mic to uh, Rani. Yeah. No, oh, it's okay. So, uh, <laughs> so just, uh, in case I am not here or available, we want to have a backup. So yeah. that's why we were training uh, Rani to do the the lives as well. Yes. And it's not so complicated, is it? <laughs> Although I make it, uh, I make a good effort to make it look hard. Yes. So you have to press re record on the right time and all that mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, that's with the zoom. That's you for the zoom. That's also Very different. So that's yeah. luckily not here because everything is being recorded and that being said, after this webinar, as always, our uh, live webinar will be uploaded to our YouTube channel and Facebook, so you can watch it anytime you want. And about today, we have the theme of today is the. Uh, Pizza Day, because today is World Pizza Day. What? Yeah, yeah, yes. Also already some people, I'm not saying any names, Sophie, they were commenting about my one m first mistake I ever made in my whole life about pressing uh -huh. the record button. Yeah, it was a pretty big mistake, though. But it was a small mistake. It was big consequences, big but it was a m small <laughs> mistake. Consequences for me, but <laughs> that uh, to the side. So, so Denise. Um, it's a Pizza Day. What is it today? It's World Pizza Day. Is it wor what? World Pizza Day? Yes. What does that exactly. mean? 
we celebrate pizza. I don't know. <laughs> I think we celebrate pizza. Too. Hey, but I celebrate pizza every day. That's kind of true. <laughs> so um, if you are a pizza lover, please let us know in the comments if you are a pizza lover. And with the theme of today, of course, World Pizza Day, we are also here to celebrate this delicious Italian meal. And let's make a balloon pizza. But of course, I was thinking only a balloon pizza is a little bit boring. So we're going to make a pizza chef first and then we let the pizza chef bake the pizza. So if there are any comments or jokes, you can. I only see them laughing behind the computer. They're not saying <laughs> anything to me. <laughs> well, I think this when saying the word pizza, it, 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 it evokes a reaction on people. It, pizza. pizza. Pizza is just pizza. everybody loves pizza. Oh, pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> maybe, maybe a good question is to ask who doesn't like pizza? Mm. I think everyone likes pizza, but maybe some people don't. Are you? Are there people? Okay, if there is someone that dares to say they don't like pizza, <laughs> let, it, let us know in the comments <laughs> yes. if you do not like pizza. I cannot believe there is someone who. No, but like I will, pizza. I will uh, throw you out of the chat because. No, uh, that's <laughs> not true. <laughs> no, no punishments. So. I uh, think, uh, Denise, uh, ready to go? we are waiting all for you in anticipation on, uh, on the pizza. No, but first, oh, first. we're going to make the chef, because without a pizza chef, there's no pizza. But, but before we start eating, do we have to say thanks? Thanks to? Say but thanks, of course. When we start <laughs> eating? <laughs> <laughs> no, do we have an uh, agenda? Is the, do we oh, the agenda. Yes. yes, of course, we have an agenda, because this Sunday, you can still sign up for our masterclass. Balloon twisting with uh, Peter Kramer. Peter Kramer is coming uh, to Sempertex Europe. And as always, you can join either via Zoom or live here in Cape Wait, 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 wait. I have to interrupt. Um, <laughs> that's an important question is uh, pizza and, and pineapple. Ooh. Ooh, it's a delicate question. That's a delicate question. Shall we, sh shall we address it this moment or shall we not talk about pineapple in this? Live Zoom so, uh, thing. Yes. Pizza and pineapple, yes or no? <sighs> I don't dare say. But I have been known to eat a pizza with pineapple. Kun is a pizza and pineapple lover. Rani, pizza and pineapple. I'm allergic to pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> Rani is allergic to pineapple, so good reason not no, to thanks. put pineapple on your pizza. <laughs> no. Denise, pineapple on pizza. I would not order it. But if you give it to me, I would eat it. Yeah, but you would eat anything that <laughs> they serve true, you. <laughs> that's free food, I eat it. <laughs> so, all so kidding not a aside. lover, but not a hater too. So. Good. Okay, another thing for the comments. Pineapple on pizza, yes or <laughs> no? Let us know in the comments. It's going to be busy in the comments. <laughs> it's going to be very busy in the comments. Um, Good, uh, agenda. Thank, sorry for the interruption. <laughs> agenda, Peter Kramer, this Sunday... Balloon Twisting Masterclass, he is going to show a lot. Um, one of the things he's going to show are his two-minute figures. So it doesn't matter if you're an advanced twister or a beginner. These figures are uh, perfect for your line work if you're a balloon twister or if you want to spice up your decorations. So uh, Peter Kramer, and he's, uh, he's going to show a lot of designs. He's going to show his... Um, oh, I forgot the name of the technique. That's so stupid. Um, he's going to show non-helium options also, so it's going to be a day filled of uh, techniques, designs and inspiration. I think we evoked uh, some reaction with the, the pineapple. I saw a little smiley with in green, so somebody <laughs> doesn't like it. <laughs> hey, to each okay, their own. Okay, afterwards we will have a little uh, poll on our uh, Instagram story. <laughs> Yes. Saying yes or no. So after this live webinar, go to our uh, Instagram story and you can vote and let's see what will win. Mm -hmm. So, but so if, if, if the pizza with pineapple wins, do we introduce it to the Italians? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then could I, we are going to travel to Italy, go to a restaurant and order, and order pineapple pizza. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Back to serious. Yeah, back to serious. I'll uh, um, that's the class this Sunday, so you can still sign up this Sunday. Peter Kramer, Master Clock Balloon Twisting. Um, then we have, I, f I forgot all the day. I didn't write them down. Very bad. Do you have the, we have the communion. Do we have the agenda? 
Uh, we will uh, look it up. Okay, we will look it up. We have a communion workshop coming up. That one is only in Dutch because we got a lot of requests from our customers to also teach a class in Dutch. So we have in March, the uh, April. April is calling miles. miles, and in March it's I think it's the nineteenth. Uh, so please also wait the twenty-first of, of April. March. The twenty-first of April, we're in France in Lille. Yes. Yes. And March is the nineteenth of March. Nineteenth of March. That's a class. I'm going to communion. Uh, I will teach you uh, all about communion decorations, and you will go home with a, a little flyer. I'm going to give you all the recipes, some nice photos also afterwards, so you can sell the designs you will learn in class. You can sell them directly to your customers. So we're going to talk about uh, packages and how to sell marketing uh, tips and tricks for the communion uh, uh, season this ah. year. And uh, we have also a Dutch masterclass. Yes, it's in the we begin to Sempertex is on the road again. Mm. That's actually 26 the thing. March, uh, March, 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 26, 26, 26, 26 of March we begin to Germany, to Landau, and in Landau, we must also learn our Deutsch noch. Yeah, we must noch ein, ein bisschen uh, oefenen. <laughs> <laughs> um, Üben. Um, hmm? We go, uh, we begin with Zauberdrache to Landau, and then we make a workshop. Thank you, Sabine Hoekstra. Thank you very much. And we make a ballon cafe, so you can jam with your friends and have a cafe to drink and a bit of essen. With the French, the 5th of April, April with Lyon. What is it? Concept? Parlez vous français? Un petit peu. Et de. de En français, un petit peu, on va euh, faire des cours euh, en, en septembre, le 2 juin en Paris, le 5 avril à Lyon, le, le 21 avril à Lille et aussi les autres. C'est des cours avec Gilles. Ah oui, le 5 mai, <rire> Gilles dit, le 5 mai à Lyon avec Gilles et aussi euh, les courses avec Denise et euh, Jamila. What Rani said. So that's a little bit our agenda. And of course our barbecue, it's the 25th of June on a Sunday. Um, we have our barbecue, we're going to have two classes and of course in the afternoon some fun games. So frozen margaritas because the theme of our barbecue this year is Mexican fiesta. Wiha. Arriba, arriba. <laughs> what Kun said. <laughs> so all of that being said, our little chaotic agenda. Um, if you want to see our full events on our Facebook page, you go to events and you can find a full overview of what we're going to do this year. And it is a lot as you could hear, hear uh, us. Uh, try to mention all our classes, workshops, and events. Yes. So go to our Facebook page, and under events, you find everything we're doing and planning this year. Uh, let's now, start. What are we here for? I think everyone is like, come on, <laughs> teach us something. <laughs> so we're going to start, and yes. we're going to start with a pizza chef. I, of course, prepared already because you don't want to see someone inflate and I wrote down the sizes for you guys because I know you want to. Um, I'm going to make a little pizza chef and we're going to start at the bottom. I have grey balloons, a cluster of four. The bigger size is seven and a half and it's a 12 inch inflated at seven and a half and the other two is a five inch inflated at four and a half. Yes, and those are the feet. Um, can you switch the camera? Perfect. And we wrap them at the bottom. So first part of this class will be the chef and then we move to the pizza. Then we have two smaller clusters. Five inch black inflated at three and a half inch. And we stack this as our regular 
column. Let's get all my clusters out here. So we have two clusters of three and a half inch. Then we move up to four inch. Again, two clusters. Then we go to four and a half inch. And last five inch. So from each size we will have two clusters. Then to finish the legs off, we're gonna have a cluster of four, 12 inch inflated at six and a half. And then we move to the body. First cluster of uh, white, 12 inch, eight and a half inch. The next one is cluster of four, eight inch. Then we move to seven and a half. These are all still 12 inch balloons. Then we have seven inch. Six and a half inch. And that's it for the body. We have a small cluster. It's uh, inflated at three and a half inch. This will be the neck. So five inch blush. Inflated at four. Three and a half inch. Stack that on top. So this is the first part of the column. That was pretty quick and easy. Of course, if you have to inflate it, it's a little bit slower. But this is the base. It's very simple, very basic, quick to make, which makes it, of course, profitable and sellable um, because you don't want to spend a lot of time on the basic of the design. If there are in any part of the class um, questions, please ask them in the live chat. Kun and Rania are behind the chat uh, to answer them or to ask the questions to me. Um, Keep in mind there's always a little delay when I'm talking and when you're seeing everything. Uh, so keep this in mind. If we do not respond immediately to your question, it's because of the delay in the video. The first part, we added the neck and that's gonna be our connection point for the head. This is the head. It's an 18 inch balloon and at the top, as you can see, I created a raisin twist as an attachment, attachment point for the head of the chef. Like so. Move it a little bit to the back. I'm gonna move everything a little bit to the back because if I'm going to add the head of the chef, you will not see a lot. Like so. This is the first part. Then I created a little cute chef's head. Again, keep it simple. Uh, so you can create this fast and it makes your design sellable to your customers. These are clusters of five because we want more of a round shape for the head. And these are three inch, three and a half inch and four inch inflated. So the first three inch, three and a half, four inch. And we're going to use the raisin twist on the top of the 18 inch to attach the chef's head. Like so. 
also. And we'll make sure at the end we will have we're going to have a nice um, view of the full design because it's going to be very tall. And we also make sure you're going to have a picture. We're going to upload a personal it. Personal question: From what country is the chef? Italy. Ah, not Sweden. Why? It's so hard to work here. It's really the, the 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 work is fun, but Kun makes it so difficult. So this is the first part of the chef, and we're gonna create some arms. Um, Kun, can you give the 360 white? What we're going to need are two 260s blush for the hands and 360 white for the arms. Yes, thank you, Rani. We're going to inflate two 360s. And when we tie it, make sure you have a long neck. The second one. Again, we're going to tie it and we make sure there is a long neck. We're going to tie those two together. And this is going to be our attachment for the body. Because there is a long neck, the 360 will not be pulled in. If we're going to tie it in super tight, your cluster is going to move and everything is not going to fit nicely on top of each other. So create that uh, long neck, tie them together and wrap them in. So they sit nice and comfortable in the body. To make sure the arm stays in place, you can add a little five inch on either side uh, so it stays uh, in the spot where you want it to be. So for example, Do exactly the same. We're gonna tie the two balloons, create a long neck, like so. Tie those two together and add them in the same way as we did with the 360s. Just gives a little bit extra support. Shock twist to the arms. twist where you want the arm to end and we're going to create two pinch twists to create a connection point for the hands later. We're going to do the same on the other side, twist the arm off and we're going to add two pinch twists as a connection point for the arm, for the hands, like so. Take your 260 blush. We're going to create a thumb, followed by a loop. And this is the hand, that's all we're going to do. So it's not a very advanced design, just keep it simple, keep it fast, make it sellable. And we're going to twist that. In those two pinch twists, tie it off, make sure nothing will deflate. And we're going to trim off the little nozzle of the 260 for a clean finish. And repeat the same process on the other side. So far, no questions? Nothing? 
No. Not yet. Uh, until now, all clear. There's no fight in the chat about pineapples on pizza. I think everybody likes the pineapple on the pizza, except Rani. Yeah, but but she's. It's not that she doesn't like it. She's allergic. Yeah. Okay. She may die if she eats it. Hey. No, we're not going <laughs> to make that remark. Koenstein eyes. But I still think it's a Swedish chef. But the Swedish chef can make pizza as well. He can make choc he can make chocolate mousse. That's French. I'm going to eat the chocolate mousse. Couldn't stop it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 To place them in the position we want, we're just going to do that at the very end of the design. <coughs> you can place it either way. Um, now, for the face, I am going to use very simple these stickers we have. Of course, you can also create uh, eyes. Maybe you're a very good painter or drawer. You can draw the eyes on uh, the chef. I would completely ruin the chef if I would try to draw on the eyes. So I'm going to use these stickers. Um, um, we sell them in our web shop, if you haven't seen them yet. Uh, man face stickers, I think that's what they're called. Um, or you can, of course, use it with vinyl. You can create something. And place them where I want them to be. So again, make sure design easy and quick. For this, I am only going to use the eyes and the eyebrows. That's it. So that's the beginning. And you see immediately when you add details like eyes or eyebrows, your design comes alive, your little creation. For this, of course, it's an, a chef. So we're going to give him a nose, two ears, and the little moustache. Let's start with the nose. I am going to use a five inch blush. Inflate it in the way you want it. And now I have to see where I left my tape. Uh, my stickers. That's what ha I've got them. That's what happens when I clean up. I'm the kind of person, the moment I start to clean up things, I lose them. If I keep them laying around, I'll find them. Technically, that's not cleaning. Hmm? Technically, that's not cleaning. If For you. Replacing, <laughs> replacing them. <laughs> For you, that's not cleaning. For me, that was cleaning. <laughs> and I'm going to find the spot Organized where I... Organized chaos. I'm, I am chaos. <laughs> chaos is my middle name. No, no comment. Good. Um, for adding the nose to the face, I use the ooglu dashes. I'm just gonna find the spot where I want them to be. A very cute round nose. Then a 160 black for the moustache. <coughs> Again, cut off the end. Sorry. A little shock twist. Find the length where you want, how long the moustache needs to be. Another moustache, another shock twist. About the same length. Of course, you can design the moustache in any way you want. You can to be more curved, more round. That's really up to you. Split it in the middle. 
And to make it sit in place, I will tie it with the end of the 260, uh, the 160 black, just to make sure the twist stays in place. Uh, we have the little moustache for the Mexican fiesta. You can put it upside down, Italian. <laughs> and we're going to place that right under the nose. Gonna use two pieces of the ooglu dashes on each part of the moustache. Denise? Yes. We have a visitor from uh, Mex Mexico. Uh oh. Martin is there. So maybe get in your uh, perfect uh, Spanish or Mexican language. Say something. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> Hola, co uh, ¿cómo está? Oh, muy bien, ¿eh tú? That's all I know. <laughs> That's all the conversation I have in Spanish. Hola, ¿cómo está? Muy bien, ¿eh tú? Even if I'm not doing fine, I will say, muy bien, ¿eh tú? <laughs> hey. So that is, adios, cerveza, dos cerveza, por favor. Grande. So we have to practice on our uh, Mexican. Uh, Spanish, yes. Yes. Yes, uh, lo siento. Yo no hablo español. Sí. <laughs> um, so that's for the face of our little uh, chef. So we gave him the little moustache, the nose, and I think he just looks super cute. Um, what you can do, what you can do, of course, <laughs> is to add some ears. And very simple, if you have a 360 and you make a <coughs> pinch twist or the other word, Four pinch twist is, Kun, do you know? The, the other word for pinch twist is, there's another word. Ear twist. Ear twist, yes, thank you. So you can make a perfect ear creating a pinch twist. Again, by the way, Melissa Vincent, if you're looking, still loving my little trash can. Make sure I have a little bit of organization in my chaos. Of course, we're going to give him two ears. It's not Van Gogh, it's a pizza chef. <laughs> two little ears. Denise, yes. go, go away. <laughs> it's my t-shirt. <laughs> and again, we're gonna, or I'm gonna place them where I want to. Not something you have to do, but it's a small fun detail that you can add, of course. What? I'm trying to uh, educate uh, Rani on uh, on bad jokes. Ah, yeah. So to 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 uh, stoop down to my level. And bad jokes. yes, you need no bad jokes, good jokes. <laughs> puns. Yeah. puns, puns. We love puns. Everybody, yes. I think everyone by now knows we love puns. Yes. So well. if we talk about Van Gogh, we will say "Go away." And I have a T-shirt of that because I love puns. So again, if you have any good puns on pizza or a chef. Please let me know in the comments because I love them. <laughs> um, so this is the finished look with the ears. I think it's a huge uh, little extra you can add. Um, just finishes off the head. Just an extra fun detail. Uh, the last thing we're going to add, or I'm going to add, is uh, a little bit of uh, color. We're going to do that with red, and we're going to give him the little <laughs> scarf the pizza chefs wear. <laughs> A tip for if you uh, if you have time, uh, Jasna says put some hair behind the ears. Some yeah, of course you can add hair from under the um, chef's head. I took Kun as my model, so it's a bald chef. <laughs> what? I thought we had hum humor here. That's not humor. <laughs> but 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 where is this going? I really personally I hate to create hair 
on these kind of sculptures, so they're always bald. And why am I the victim here? Because you're bald. I, I have some hair. <laughs> Not much. Oh I no. think the people <laughs> in Facebook Live can even wait, see wait, this. Wait, 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 wait. I do have some hair. hair. Look. <laughs> Okay, so Randy, can you turn off the camera? We're gonna create two <laughs> pinch twists as a connection point. <laughs> Wrap around the scarf and twist the other side into those two pinch twists. Like so, I'm gonna tie off the end to create a clean finish. And if you want the scarf to lay a little bit down, we can use a nozzle from the cluster and wrap it around. Now it stays nice in place. Like so. And it's just a little bit of extra detail you can add to the design. So now we have the pizza chef. So I did the, 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 the Swedish chef. How does an Italian chef, chef sound? <laughs> <laughs> no, they always talk with it. Because Italians, all they do is talk. They don't do just this. Welcome to the pizzeria from Sempertex Europe. I'm gonna bake you a lovely pizza today. So we fin just finished the chef and now we're gonna do the next part. It's gonna be the Sempertex Europe Pizza di Ballon. Ballons, can globals. Can you do the rest of the workshop in your <laughs> best Italian? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm afraid I will insult some actual <laughs> Italians that might looking. So sorry if I insulted anyone with my um, Italian... Stereotyping. Stereotyping, my Italian English accent. Graciela doesn't mind. It's too cheesy. It's too cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> but Stephanie goes as uh, she likes the design very much. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. We're not finished yet. No. Oh. Oh, because we on. need the pizza. It's a world <laughs> pizza day. We're going to need the pizza. Okay, I'm going to stop now. <laughs> so for the pizza, we're going to go to the top view camera. Oh, Rani, Rani, oh, Rani, oh, Rani, yes, welcome. So, um, for the start, I'm going to use six 260 yellow. I'm going to inflate them and tie them in duplets, do we say this? I'm going to do, I think it's called a head weave, right? No? A flat, flat head weave, I think that's the drum they use. I like to actually cut the nozzles, so the center will not be, center will stay nice and flat. The technique we are going to use for the pizza. If you're not really experienced with twisting, it's gonna need some practicing. Something I have to admit. But I think it's worth to know the techniques like this. So in total, we're gonna have three duplets of 260s. The more techniques you know, with the more balloons you can work, the better your creations can be. Because with a little bit of practice, you're able to create designs pretty fast, actually. So we're gonna up, clean this a little bit. I'll put this aside to the side. So. I'm gonna start by twisting them together. The pizza that I made in the picture of this event um, is actually one with um, eight 
two sixties instead of six, so it is a little bit smaller, less detailed, but it's easier. So if you're starting, this one is a little bit more easy. Make two pinch twists to create a the, so that the center will stay nice and flat. So, so we have the six balloons. Let's find the middle. Six balloons. When we have a pinch here, flip, flip it, and a pinch here. Two sixties are pretty long. And there's not a lot of movement space for me, so it's a little bit chaotic. But as you know me, I am chaotic herself. We're gonna start. <laughs> what? <laughs> that would have been too easy to comment on that <laughs> one. So um, we're not even going there. Make a small bubble. What I love to do is create a tiny little pinch twist here. So this is our starting position. A little bubble followed by a small, a tiny, cute little pinch twist. Then we're gonna make a same size bubble. And I'm going to watch the distance. That's actually the difficult part of this design. You have to keep track on the distance between the balloons, the natural distance. Because what we want is a flat weave. And if you make your, um, the spacing bigger or smaller, will make your design curve. Like so. I'm going to go the way around. So this is called the, the head weave, because most of the time they create little heads this way. Let's see if I'm correct in my sizing. a little pinch here to twist everything in place. Like so. Have it nice and flat. Now I'm going to repeat this process. Make a small bubble. If the bubble is too big, you're going to have spacing in between the rows. That's something we want to avoid. So make a nice, cute little bubble and a pinch twist again as an attachment point for the last balloon. Again, before I go on, as you can see the spacing, the natural spacing in between the balloons is slightly bigger, so the next line is need to be this big. This is something that we need to keep in mind when you go around. So it's going to be something like this. Again, this is something that needs practice. When I started it, I never was able to do this correctly and still sometimes I have to redo a row because it's just a little bit too curvy. So it's not an easy design to create, but I think it's a fun one. So as you can see, it stays nice and flat. 
Um, also, when you're practicing this, make sure you work on a flat and clean surface. It's the most easiest to um, see what you're doing, what's going on with the design. I'm going to add one more row with yellow, because it's going to be a very cheesy pizza. Again, make sure the spacing that you're going to need. go all the way around. When twisting you can still flatten everything out a little bit so it stays nice and better. Of course the 260s at the end will still lift the design up a little bit. Once you've finished it, then you clean all the ends off and you can have a better view of the way it looks. Then I'm going to add a coffee to 60 to finish off the design. To start, I have a pinch twist. Again, if you have any questions about what I'm doing, please let me know in the comments. So I add a little pinch twist. I'm going to wrap around the coffee to 60. And again, keep track on how many spacing there needs to be in between. And I add a pinch on every corner I have. pinch and for the last two section I'll just add a new coffee to 60 the pinch so last part and then we have the pizza of course it's not super flat first clean off the ends make sure you wrap everything in and make an extra knot just to make sure it won't get undone. After you finished, you can you have some time to flatten everything out like so and that's it for the pizza dough Ta -da! 
any questions, please let me know. The dough is ready. And now let's so take care of the toppings. What are the ingredients? What we have today? Well, Mr. Chef, move aside. The real pizza baker is here. I have today in my pizzeria. Let's check the ingredients. I have some tomato and some greenery, <laughs> salami. Excuse, excuse me, what greenery? Spinach. Spinach. Ah, spinach. Yes. So what, what pizza and um, is it? onions. Onions, yes. Green onions and salami. So I, I chop them up. <laughs> Chop my ingredients. You have to do it in Italian. Eh? Oh, I chop the ingredients. Oh, uh, the chop, 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 chop. Here, tomato and salami and some green and some onions. And we have the cheese already. The cheese is fin. I cannot do this. But People. Cheese, cheese has to go on top. The cheese is already here. I'm oh. going to add some extra cheese at the very end. Don't worry, senor. So we have the pizzeria and we put all the ingredients. Then it's time to go into the oven. We wait a little and then we have a finished pizza. <laughs> so as you can see, mm, there are some mushrooms. <laughs> some <laughs> oh, I lost one tomato. And we have the finished pizza. And to finish this design, we have, of course, the little chef that can hold our pizza. Make an attachment point in the center. Oh, I lost more onions. Oh, ta-da! And then we have the pizza chef. <laughs> That's it. So this is the design of today. Um, let's move it to the back so you can get the full picture. One moment, please. Denise, remind me that you stay in balloon business, not in the restaurant business. <laughs> <laughs> like Although so. you make a, you exceedingly uh, a great pizza. What, what, what uh, type of pizza is it? Balloonie. Pizza balloonie. Okay, sounds uh, plausible. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is the design of the day. Afterwards, we will make a good picture and we will upload it uh, to our Facebook group and, of course, the social media. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you have any questions about the design, uh, let me know in the comments. Just you have like one minute left. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm going to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. This instruction video will be uploaded to our YouTube channel so you can watch it anytime you like and you just easily can skip to the first part. You don't have to sit through that anymore. Um, so that's a plus. And hope to see you next time in another live webinar. And of course, hope to see you Sunday at Peter Kramer's Masterclass Balloon Twisting. Yes. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. Rani, thank you. Happy to have you here today. <laughs> hope you enjoyed it. It was a joy watching you uh, making uh, <laughs> pizza. <a> pizza for <laughs> the chef. <laughs> so, thank you. Have a wonderful weekend. We're going to have in like oh, one hour. Um, and see, oh no, we don't because we have a workshop this weekend. No weekend. Thank you very much. Uh, grazie. And tot de, tot de volgende keer. See you next time. We zien ons wieder. Um, Au revoir. A bientôt. A bientôt. A bientôt. Uh, adios. <laughs> and all the other languages to say goodbye. Thank you. See you next time. Hope you enjoyed it.